on the best day, they're doing pretty well midday, right? But on the worst day, in January, you got nothing. But this is what everybody forgets. As if the planet stops rotating, the clouds part, and Germany is baking in the sun, you know, because the sun shines on Germany 24 hours a day. Tom Friedman, the other day, New York Times, brought up Germany as an example, saying that Germany is 30% wind and solar. Most self-described environmentalists believe that that chunk is entirely wind and solar. Wind and solar. When the media brands Germany's renewable program as one of solar and wind emitting biomass, that's not clarity. This is not the fault of solar and wind technology. They are very useful so long as we recognize and plan for their limitations. To fully harness intermittent power, we need both a smart grid and inexpensive energy storage. Today, we have neither, and I think it's very risky to presume we will get both. As we deploy renewables, increasingly, wind ends up losing to wind and solar ends up losing to solar. They deliver energy, or fail to, at the same time. The greater the solar and wind penetration, the steeper the peaks and troughs in supply.